Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Last time, Bowser explored Blubble Lake and overcame his allergies. Unfortunately, his allergies caused him to die when he resurrected a giant windmill mech and it stepped on him. So today, it's time to resurrect him. Carry with this message of crisis for Bowser's life energy. I've awaited you in this sacred place, ever patient. First, you must hit the emo globe to the right to save. Then it falls to you to revive Bowser's flagging life energy. Board the boat to revival and for the adrenaline channel. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Sorry for not talking. I got to focus. I handled that so badly. Got it. His energy sparked. A little too close for comfort here. I really don't like it when the, uh, like, orb is so close, because then when it shoots, like, a blue, or, not a blue, a red or a green at you, you have, like, no time to react. But anyway, his energy spiked. Bowser's moving again. Showtime, indeed. Holding this vertically. I, God, I wish it would turn the other way, but that's reserved for the remake. All right, so. The lake. Back here, too. All right, then. Go ahead and give him a punch. Got him. Man, what's this guy's body made of? Oh, you want to fly away? Tough luck, sucker. Yeah, just got to keep punching him to ground him. And now, attacking this dude's body seems useless. Maybe that head? Nice, he's sinking. Now I can wail on his head. Alright, well let's go ahead and do a little of that now, shall we? Oh wait, no 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 that none of that I wasn't tapping fast enough. That's on me. Well, we can't have any of that now, can we? Where's where's the mic? Want to make sure? Okay. That that was that was bad because I kind of lost track of where the mic was on the DS. Oh no.
okay. It's going decent enough, I guess. He's pretty far away from the lake, though. I I am having some issues here. I do not like how you have to turn the uh, DS for this. It's so much better in the remake. Got him! Okay. Alright. Alright. Time to wreck your face, pal. That was an excellent and you know it game. Alright. Ah! Got him. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna work out here. It's actually kind of sad. Yeah, well, alright. It's hyperbole, okay? Damn. <coughs> okay. Alright, he got me, he got me. I am not a JoJo. I am not a JoJo. I tried, I tried. Alright. Get him! He's almost there. Oh, it's bomb time. I mistimed it. Oh no. Okay, all right, all right. We, we can bounce back from that. We can bounce back from that. I'm not the best when it comes to bomb skip ball anyway. And now they're trying to fix them up. None of that good, sir. <gasps> I need to do better about breathing fire. Oh, great. He's done it. I feel like that should do a little more damage. I mean, it's only a freaking bomb. But all right. More of this, huh? All right. Time to blow. All right. Got him. How are you not in the water yet? Like, can I actually do an attack now? Because you've had like four movements in a Oh my God. I mean, technically I am getting to attack, but I mean, this is like countermeasures. <sighs> That was not okay. That was okay. I, I'm I'm salty. I'm salty. And more bomb time. Okay, that one was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. All right, get him. That should have been an excellent. I'm sorry. I, I swiped really fast there. All right. Gonna have to go fifth and North Star then like There we go, okay. I cannot get my voice to the octave that he can freaking reach in that game. I wish I could. Yeah! Got him. That freaking victory pose though. So yeah, we got Star Candy. Bowser didn't leveled up. Good show. Good show. Uh, what do I want to do here? Um, yeah, let's get some of that SP. Four. Oh my god, he's actually done it. He's the greatest. And now we're back to normal. Thank you. Not the most graceful landing. <laughs> Castle, tower, whatever, I'll pummel anything. All right. So that was a epic boss fight. There's still, yeah, nothing we can do over on that end. 
Well, let's go see what this tower is all about, shall we? Pretty basic so far. Yes, yes, I am vacuuming. Yes, I am collecting the blitties. Eh, go ahead and refresh me. You know, I, I've only just come back from death. I probably do need it. Okay, any new gear? Oh yeah, the horns. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been working on them. Yes, thank you. Alright. Better scratch card. Still doesn't have anything worth buying, huh? That is unfortunate. Alright then. I'm, I'm not gonna waste my time. I will check on the blitties, though. So far, so good. And we're not at locations for the remaining six. Alright then, fair enough. Yes, I have been collecting the cute blitties. Yes, I will get to you one of these days. Don't worry about it, alright? I like how the elevator is still working despite the fact that we completely obliterated this freaking tower. Well, can't do anything there. Uh, can't do anything there. Hmm. What's with this book? It's totally blank. Who has awakened me from my eternal slumber? Who are you, bub? You live in there? I am called Yik. Master creator, bonded genius, been of the Tower of Yik. And you are? What? You don't know me? Me? My physical body no longer treads the paths of this world. My soul slumbers in this book, my entire existence distilled into a patchwork of dreams. But you are not of dreams. You are no ordinary being, are you? You got that right, buddy. I'm Bowser, the Koopa King. I see. And are you one tormented by the ageless riddle of Boo? Boo? Yes, Boo. That which disappears even as one think it appears. That which appears even as one thinks it disappears. A mirage, ephemeral, like the gulf betwixt dreams and waking. I'm tormented by the riddle of the boo. In this place, I've researched their ways. And the result is... This boo ray machine. Boo ray what? The machine's light renders the insides of one's body visible. My proprietary laser emits blue transparency waves, giving the light its special properties. If you wish to see, stand upon the marked platform before it. Alright, well, let's stand upon the marked platform. Good. Now you must hit the machine switch. Behold, your body is transparent. Whoa, it's like a spotlight for my gut. In layman's terms, yes. Well, amazing, isn't it? Makes one feel like saying, Wow, that yeah, right? This marks the first usage of the Boo-Ray on a living being. I consider the trial of success. Now, to sleep and dream again. Use it all you wish. Alright, well, uh, thank you, Yick. You, you are really a credit to team. He never shows up again. Look! Over there, some activity. Let's go check it out. All right then. Back here in the energy hold where the first sage went. <gasps> wow, wow. The barrier that Bug escaped under just disappeared. The light from outside changes this place, huh? Now we can resume the chase. Come 
on. Let's go. All right, let's uh, go indeed. And yeah, we can always punch with Bowser to deactivate the machine like such. Honestly, this is done way better than it is in the remake. Uh, in the remake, you actually have to have Bowser walk off of the thing and then back onto it. This is just a simple button press. I prefer that. So, uh, some things only Globa knows like when one sees nothing. One must let light shine on to make the invisible-ish exist. Or the opposite, some things shun the light and hide when light strikes their Globin. Yeah, that's gonna be the gimmick here. We need to use light to traverse. So for example, we got some invisible platforms right here. We can see them with the uh, Boo-Ray machine activated. I mean, you can still jump on them and walk on them as you can see here, but you just can't see where they are. So yeah, we'll be getting into like stuff that can only be done when the Boo-Ray machine is not active next time. So yeah, um, see y'all next time for some more Let's Play Bowser's Inside Story. Goodbye.